Hey everyone, Sam here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly get up and running with Lottie animations using the Lottie Files Lottie Player. And so in this video, we're going to be having a Lottie animation playing on load and just auto playing as soon as it loads up. And I'm also going to show you how you can replace your static social icons with animated ones that play on hover. Let's get started. So heading over to lottiefiles.com, we're going to start by searching the animations we want to include into our website. And so for my product landing page, I want something code related. So in the search bar on lottiefiles.com, I'm just going to type code and find something that I like the look of. And I think I'm going to go with this, this animation, uh, just a nice animation of a code block. And so to get started integrating into our website, I'm going to scroll down and click on use this animation in HTML. This will open up the Lottie web player and show us how to customize the player and then the code needed to get it into our website. So here we can choose between play modes, the direction, set a background color, and we can also set width, height, and the animation speed. So most in most cases, I'd imagine you don't need the controls. Uh, I don't need them, so I'm going to remove them. And I'm going to use auto play and loop. And I think this is running a bit slow, so I'm gonna just do times two, the speed. And that's more like it. So here we've got a bit of generated code. The first part is the script tag. And uh, this is going to load up the Lottie player uh, and its code. And then we have the Lotto player element that we can include into our HTML. And we can place that where we want the player to appear on our website. So first of all, I'm just going to copy the script source. Heading into my index.html file, I'm now going to post the script to the Lottie player inside of the header of my HTML file. So as you can see here, we're linking to the Lottie player code. And now I can grab the Lottie player element that was generated and then place it into my website. So here I am going to just drop it here and I'm going to re remove the styling because I just want to set the sizes myself with Tailwind CSS classes. So I'm going to set MX auto and then width just like that. Now let's see how that looks. And as you can see, as easy as that, we've got our animation auto playing and looping and it's nicely sized up in our website. And one little trick you can do if you are using Tailwind CSS is you can actually use transforms as classes. And this is just an extra bonus, um, just you know to give it a little bit more flair. So here we go. We can also rotate our animation on hover. And this is looking really cool. And so now, I'm happy with that. We're gonna start tackling these static uh, social media icons and replace them with animated ones. So now let's replace our static social media icons with animated ones. So I'm just gonna comment out my SVGs that were used for the icons and just grab the player I just showed you, paste that in. And so on lottiefiles.com, I found a Twitter and Facebook icon. And in the editor, I then just swapped their colors out to get these two icons. So now I'm just gonna grab the asset link and paste it as the source inside the Lottie player. I want to change the uh, classes on it. So I'm just gonna delete that and use fill 
current and a height of eight, and that should be good. Set the speed back to one. I'm gonna remove loop and autoplay attributes and actually pay, um, and actually type in hover. So like that, this animation will play as we hover over it. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it into our Facebook icon spot, and then just quickly grab the asset link, paste it into the source, and that should be good. So now if I hover over my social media icons, you can see they are animated. So as easy as that, with a few lines of code, you can get up and running with Lottie animations inside of your website. And in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add even more interactivity to these animations. See you in the next one.